we got another soccer co box. We are bringing you a Valentine's Day themed box, and let's see where this takes us. Yeah, and we have our friend today, Alicia. Hi, I'm Alicia Paliza. I do voiceover work. I have been in Battle Craze and also Dip Napper 2. Uh, we are currently in my room, so these are all my figures. None of these guys are as cool as I am when it comes to collecting. I have the best collection. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in following my voiceover journey, you might be hearing my voice more. Um, I'm Queen Weeb on all my social media. And yeah, let's get started. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Open it up. <gasps> I say first up is uh... Strawberry Daifuku. Enjoy the refreshing flavor of these Daifuku where strawberries are expertly kneaded into the soft rice cake. Encasing a strawberry infused bean paste, they are pleasantly sweet and subtle tart. Definitely mm. has kind of like less of an artificial strawberry taste to it. Normally not too big of a fan of bean paste, but this is really good. Really sweet. Not too sweet. Um, less chewy than mochi. Pretty good. For my rating, I think I'm gonna give it... I think I'm gonna start this off high. I think that's like a eight. I'd probably do a nine. Mm. Let's go seven. What about up next? Wild Grape Gummies from mm -hmm. Tokyo. A rare small grape that grows in the mountains. Delight your senses as you discover their jelly-filled insides. It smells like medicine. Like grape medicine. Oh, that's Ooh. something to look forward to. Don't worry, starting the bar low. I'm not too big a fan of grape in general. You don't like grape? Not really, actually. Grape is supposed to be universally the best flavor in, in the U.S. Supposed mm. to be. <laughs> Tastes like a haichu. You Ooh, know? that's a good similarity. A less chewy haiju. I would probably give it a three. I'd give it a six. I'd give it a six I'm a, too. I have a, big, oh. I have a big sweet tooth, so... That's fair. I'm more of the savory. Now we're on to... Let's see. This is the Mentaiko Senbei. Senbei? I'm Dude, actually not too I sure. I think that's what the dragon one was last time that we really liked. Ooh, I hope so. Savor the bold flavors of Mentaiko <laughs> Senbei. Each Senbei is seasoned with a special sauce made from Mentaiko spiced cod roe, offering a satisfying spiciness. It reminds me of chicharrones. Especially with like the spice. That was good. I like that. Ooh, that's so savory. And it's a little bit sweet. Does Men it taste like shrimp to you guys? Yeah, there's definitely some shrimp in there. It says it's spiced cod. Oh. So maybe that's what you're tasting, the, maybe the fishy taste. I love that, that's a nine from me. I'm gonna give it a nine, because I might save my 10. And if we come back and talk about it again, I might make this a 10 if this is still like on the top, because I really like this. Like I would like eat this, like if I snacked more, this would definitely be something I would say, like this is my snack, I'm gonna go go to snack, you know? It's really good. Exactly. Just thank you. Don't yeah. drop it on anything. So sure. you know, there we go. what one likes and does not like is their own opinion. And while my friends say it's good, I do not agree. I give it a four. Ooh, <gasps> I think that's our biggest outlier we've had in either video. Normally we're like within three of each other. That was a big dip. That was delicious, bro. I, I don't love know what that. About. I don't really Ooh. like savory stuff. Oh yeah. So salty it's, isn't. It's me. 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 I'm the problem. And the next one, this I This is the... Ume Rencon Chips from Okayama. Invigorate your palate with the enticing flavors of these chips, where lotus roots or Rencon are meticulously fried, complemented by the subtle sourness of a plum seasoning. Kind of tastes like a... Uh... What would, what would that be? Like a fried cucumber, kind of? Dude, this is gonna sound weird, but it tastes like I had a chip and I'm drinking apple cider. I don't like that. This ain't it. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's just fried cucumber. That would be a two for me. I really didn't like that. I think I'll give it a four. A four? Yeah, I think four is good for me. Like, 
it didn't make me want to go oof. I want to be controversial. Mm -hmm. I just I'm doing this specifically just to ruin your scale. <laughs> That's why I'm here. This is the chocolate Danish from Gifu. I don't know Thank how to explain you. it, but it smells Italian. Yeah, that tastes mm. like something from Italy. <laughs> it's like an Italian pastry. I love how doughy that is. I give it an eight. I'd say seven. That's pretty good. It's really good, but I feel like it needs to be eaten with something, not alone. So I'm going to give it a five. Probably with the green tea. Yeah. I think that'd <laughs> Probably go... better be eaten with the green tea. Yeah, I think that would go well with it. We have some green tea over here that we're planning on making afterwards. Well, that happened. But now we're here, and we're drinking tea. This tea is pretty good, wouldn't you say, Johnny? It's actually really good. 10 out of 10. 7. I would I would probably have this after a bad day. Not normally, but <laughs> I think it might cheer me up. Anyways, so we had a few questions for mm -hmm. our friend here, because she has a collection the size of a Museum. adult woman's bedroom. <laughs> I have 183 figures. But you guys picked out some uh, figures, so which one of you wants to go first for your picks? I think you should go first with your, what is that, bad apple? No. Is so that... this is Flandre Scarlet. This is a 1 7 scale. She is from Toho. She is Flandre Scarlet. She is one of the um, Scarlet sisters. She is technically a vampire, but because of like something in her background, it gets kind of muddled. She doesn't really have wings like her sister does, and her sister's the one in charge of the manor. She really stood out to me because I saw her silhouette in that song, Bad Apple. Yeah. I think Bad Apple definitely brought a lot more attention to the Toho characters, and when I tell people that all the characters in the Bad Apple music video are from Toho, they're like, how? I really want to know more about this, well, like, so, like goth this, nun? No. This is Suigento. She is one of the seven Rosen Maiden dolls from the series Rosen Maiden. She is number one. She's kind of the main antagonist in the first three volumes of the manga and in the first season of the anime. You really so, know your stuff. I don't collect things unless I know about it. Is there any certain doll in particular you would like to show us? Yes, and I'm going to actually lean forward to grab it. <laughs> this is one of the rarer um, parts of my collection. This is the Dolphi Dream of um, Saber Nero, aka Nero Claudius, from the series Fate Extra. She's one of my favorite characters and also the first character that I learned of in the Fate series and the first game I ever played for the Fate series as well. And she is a ball-jointed doll. She's really hard to come across. And she's from, like, 2010. Now, what about her personality do you like so much? <laughs> um, she is, as compared to the other Saber, the original Saber, also known as Altaria, who's meant to be Arthur Pendragon, she is a bit more, like, not spicy, but, like, fighter. She's a lot more in-your-face about things. And she's pretty sassy. I honestly love that about her. She's also just unapologetically herself, which I find really refreshing, and I just love how detailed and pretty she is. Now, was this one of her outfits that no. she came with? No. <laughs> Did you make this? No, or? I bought this separately. I actually have a couple of different outfits. So is there anything else you'd like to ask? One more I want to ask about okay. behind us. This oh, is the right. Kanda Yu Nendroid with his hair down because Kanda is one of my favorite characters of all time. I've loved him since I started watching, I mean, reading the series. Did I introduce you to Degree Man or did you already know about it beforehand? I can't remember. I think I showed you some fan art that I thought was really cool. Then you told me that's the series Degray Man. And then I started reading it. Okay. Or anything else? Do you know which figure was your first figure? Yes. My first figure was... <laughs> was actually a saber figure <laughs> hey oh. uh i can't get her because she's behind everything uh ah. but she was a i think she was a prize figure oh i can't get the other one though because i got two and it was at my first ever convention it was for my 14th birthday um so i got this swimsuit version of um squid girl from the series squid girl she and saber were the first ever figures ever added to my collection 
and I have been collecting since then. I've never really, st I stopped for a little bit, um, but I just love the figures and frankly, people say it's like, it's a lot of money, but to me, I decorate with those. I don't go out and get like, you know, statement pieces for my room. I prefer to decorate with things that I know and like, and some people find it overwhelming, but I think it's very like inspirational, especially if someone who does like artistic stuff, you can look at it and you can, every time you look at something, you might notice something new when you stare at it a little bit longer. I never get bored in my room. <laughs> There's always something to look at or stare at for a while. And frankly, I, I kind of find that my favorite part about it is that I can always go back to it and look at it. Thank you guys for having me though. This was great. Thank you for watching our Sakura Co unboxing video. We're going to have our Tokyo treats video and then two more boxes come March. <laughs> like and subscribe for 2% more chaos in your life.